Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at a wonderful new feature in Manifold System Release 9, which of course means it's available in the free viewer as well, and that's the ability to uh, bring data in from so-called traverse, traverse files. Uh, ESRI file format for uh, traverses is a uh, very popular format in uh, GIS and surveying, and what it does is it, it provides a standardized means of uh, describing uh, parcels and uh, lines uh, as used in uh, surveying. And uh, what we're looking at here is uh, an example that uh, I've taken from the manifold, system, from the manifold uh, user form at, uh, the, at georeference.org. And uh, this is an actual plot map. It shows a parcel in Texas, and it shows uh, how that parcel is described by a surveyor. And if you look at it, it starts from this point right here. And uh, the way traverses work, they're all, which are also, by the way, called meets and bounds, is they describe how to uh, draw the parcel by following the path of the uh, of the bounding, uh, the bounding uh, boundary for the for the parcel. So we start at this point, and we go in this direction, which is approximately uh, what's that? About 63 degrees uh, for a distance of 271.47 feet to this point here, where we go for uh, change the bearing to 72 degrees for 154.23 feet. Then we do another 15 feet. Then we do a short segment here in, in this direction, 40 th approximately 43 degrees. That's uh, 67 feet long to a curve called E to a curve called F another straight segment, a curve called H, and then a segment down here, and a segment here, a segment here, and then back to the close. The curve data for curves E, F, and H are, are captured by the surveyor in uh, some notes that he wrote here. Now, as you can see, part of the challenge of working with uh, surveying uh, files like this is uh, reading other people's handwriting. That's not easy, uh, but in our case, uh, we can do it, and we can, uh, uh, using this description, we can create a traverse te text like this, and uh, let me uh, undock that. And uh, what this text is, is done is it's written in standard uh, ESRI file format for uh, traverse files. And what it says is starting at this point here, the SP for starting point, which is this coordinate here in the coordinate system used by this particular plot map, uh, go in this direction for this distance. So it's this direction, which is 63 degrees, 35 minutes, and 1 second, 63, 35, 1, for a distance of 271.47 feet. So that's a distance, 271.47 feet until you get to this next segment where you go for 72 degrees uh, for in the direction 72 degrees 49 minutes and one second for a distance of 154.23 feet. So somebody patiently entered all this into this uh, ESRI file and uh, if we have files like this we can create parcels from them in Manifold and uh, we can visualize what this data is. So that's a good way of checking whether the stuff in here is true or not. And we're going to visualize this parcel based on the, the text here. Now what people actually do is they, they put this stuff in a uh, parcel a file like this. It's just a plain ordinary text file. You can see I've opened it in Notepad. And that just has the equivalent of what I have here in a comments uh, document so we can uh, comments uh, component in Manifold so we can, uh, we can just take it. We're actually going to be importing this file here and we're going to be cre creating a parcel from that in, in this uh, demonstration. Okay, let's, uh, let's dock this again. And now let's uh, switch gears a bit and we'll go, we'll go here to map that I've created. As you can see from the traverse text, it matters what, the, what these coordinates are, and uh, these coordinates have to be in the coordinate system or whatever the plat map was. This particular plat map is uh, for a place in Texas. It uses EPSG 3674. That's a South Central Texas State Plane projection. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a drawing, and uh, right-click in there, cr choose Create New Drawing. I'm going to call it Parcel. And for the coordinate system, we're going to pick, choose Edit Coordinate System. I'm going to choose the EPSG. 3674, which is right here, South Texas South Central. And I want to make sure that uh, use the default metrics, which is a U.S. foot uh, coordinate system. Click OK. Click Create Drawing. And now we have a parcel drawing. I'm going to drag and drop that parcel drawing into the map. I've already zoomed the map into approximately the place we're going to create the parcel. Uh, and uh, to make sure all that... Uh, look sharp when we create that parcel. parcel. I'm going to style this to make the lines uh, two points thick. I'm going to make the line uh, bright green. And I think here what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll use a, a dash combination with a, a black halo and a point two. So that provides a nice uh, kind of a da dash dot line that'll stand out well. Okay, so in order to create a parcel here from that parcel description, the first thing we do is we create something that we can use as a container for the parcel. We can just create any any line we want, any line or area we want. And there you can see how the styling makes that line appear brightly. 
And now what I'll do is I'll alt click this to select that and I'll jump here into the coordinates pane. Uh the way we create uh objects from uh from uh traverse file format is uh we use the coordinates uh tab here in the record pane and we read in uh we load coordinates from a file. And Manifold can automatically understand what, what coordinate format is in that file. We man uh, that provides two formats for you. And if you click open a file in Esri Traverse file format, click open, it automatically reads those in and it automatically builds the uh the file based on the that uh, automatically builds the uh, line based on the uh what was it written in that file. And uh let's uh say okay, let's update the record. And we've just changed we've cha we've just changed that initial uh proxy record that we created the uh container record into a uh, this line record re like that. And I'll click there and you can see we've just drawn the uh parcel. And if you click open the plat map here again, I'm going to undock this so we can uh, kind of have a insight at the same time as we're looking at the main main scene. You can see that this is rotated. This is the north arrow, the tip of the north arrow here. So if you kind of mentally turn this around, you can see here's the curve. Here's where it starts at this corner. There it starts right there. Continues in this direction. Goes there. Continues there. Goes there. Then continues in this line like that. And then there's this gentle curve here. And then another curve there to straight line segment. Then there's this scoop right here where the subdivision was originally planned to have a cul-de-sac. Then a long line segment here like so down to here then up here that way and back and then back to the beginning. As a practical matter, traverses don't uh usually close. There's usually some uh slight uh misalignment. I'll zoom in here so you can see the misalignment right there. That's fairly typical and depending on the quality of uh who wrote that original uh traverse text or or not, uh that 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 failure to close might be a very small distance or it might be a very great distance. Manifold is adding uh means which will automatically, you know, adjust the whole traverse to to close that. Uh, but for the time being, you got to take it on faith that whoever wrote the, you know, the plat map, and you know, we'll, let's uh, zoom that to fit. Actually, took their time writing out all these things. As a practical matter, people rarely get all these calculations done exactly. They rarely define the curves, you know, as well as you would like them to be defined. And so, as a practical matter, uh, there, there's, there's often quite a, quite a difference between. Uh, you know what people write down in the actual reality but as people get better at, at surveying they get better and better and it gets closer anyway uh we can do this in viewer as well uh viewer is happy to read uh traverse file format just like um release 9 can so if you if you've got uh traverse texts and files and you want to see what they're like or if you want to create parcels it's easy to do uh you just bring it into the uh uh into the record as we've seen there using the coordinates tab manifold automatically reads that format uh esri file format is a uh, fairly straightforward in terms of traverse file format that provides a lot of different options this particular traverse text that we uh, see here uh in terms of how it defines all these things if you want to read it first thing it does it tells you the style of uh, uh of uh, the direction type because uh, this is so, so called uh, quadrant bearing there's other types of styles uh, like a uh, north azimuth or south azimuth a lot of different ways of uh, describing uh how uh the uh, bearing is defined the next line tells you uh, what units are used uh this line tells you the starting point and then uh there's a series of straight line segments and you can have variety of format here which a variety of formats here which it understands you know in terms of uh uh whether the uh you know degrees minutes seconds and, and here here we're using degrees minutes seconds for the angular distances uh and then when you come to curves you can have so-called tangent curves or you can have uh uh non-tangent curves and uh, manifold of course supports supports both ways of doing it so there's a quite a flexible way of doing this uh you can use this to not just to define parcels but to also do things like uh capture ship tracks or uh other sorts of descriptions of motion where you know you move in a particular direction for so many feet or so many meters or so many kilometers and then you switch to a different direction and, and then move for a certain distance there and so on. So uh traverses are actually very flexible they're very powerful. Uh it's a, a surveying system which is widely used in the United States and uh I think largely due to Esri's uh, influence in the uh, JS market, this particular format that's used for traverses has become darn near universal in pretty much every county and government entity in the United States. So th this is the one you're going to use, and this is the one, of course, that Manifold uh, supports. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. 
Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.